we're gonna we're gonna say that we put more we got a decent amount of capital here that's just sitting here until we actually buy what we're gonna buy for the assets we might want to put some of it in an investment account so we're gonna put some of it in an investment account the idea here being that we're we're not holding it in an investment account as our business structure meaning this business is in business to sell guitars generate revenue that way and have guitar lessons and whatnot not to generate revenue through investments in stocks and bonds generating re revenue with dividends and interest some businesses might be in that business but that's not what this business is designed to do so what i'm trying to emphasize is the fact that if we had excess cash due to the business doing well and we 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 then would want to if we have excess cash we're not going to use in the business give it to the owner so the owner could invest meaning draw it out of the business so the owner can invest it in stocks and bonds or whatever investments they want to do the reason it's in this business is to achieve the business objective revenue generation from selling of guitars and whatnot but we might put some of it in a short-term holding account so that we can hold on to it until we're ready to, to spend it on machinery and equipment. That's the general idea. However, you can also have QuickBooks being used for your personal bookkeeping as well. It works quite well. And in that case, you have a different objective. It's, your objective is basically to live well. Uh, but so the accounting is actually a little bit more confusing in that case. But you might then uh, organize your your investments in in general in uh, in the QuickBooks software, and so you can kind of apply this concept to that as well. We'll kind of touch on that. Okay, so we're gonna take the money out of the checking account and put it into like an investment. We're thinking like mutual funds, for example, or a money market fund. We'll just imagine stocks and bonds that we're gonna put money into. 